Good morning dear students welcome back i am your physics professor dr nagraj so in my previous video i was talking about numerical problems on quantum computation so this is a second series in the previous video i just solved the numericals only on linear operator and matrix operations so in this case uh, sorry in this video i am going to start with the numericals on the quantum gates so here comes the first question uh, look at the first question using matrix application show that on applying hadamard gate twice twice you have to apply the hadamard gate to ket 0 results in its original state what actually it means you know you have to take hadamard gate to twice that means h into h and operate it on zero when you operate it on zero zero will not change it remains zero only so that we have to show that h into h is equal to i because i is identity matrix when identity matrix operates on any vector that vector won't change see identity matrix is something like numerical number one when you multiply anything by one that number remains same when you divide anything by one it remains same like that identity operator is unitary uh, unit not unitary unit like one number one well let us proceed further like this first we have to consider hadamard gate hadamard gate uh, uh, this what is that uh, matrix format is like this so hadamard gate i is represented by h okay dear students it is equal to 1 by root 2 into 1 1 1 minus 1 this is the matrix format of hadamard gate and you know hadamard gate is also called as a uh, what transformation matrix okay well uh, multiply h once again that means h into h that is what he is telling apply the hadamard gate twice so first i take h into h that is equal to 1 by root 2 into 1 1 1 minus 1 again h that is 1 by root 2 into 1 1 1 minus 1 okay so now i give you time if you want you can pause this video and find the answer you know how to multiply this matrix so that is equal to 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 becomes 1 by 2 okay next first row into first column that is 1 into 1 1 plus 1 into 1 1 next first row into second column that is 1 into 1 1 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 got it next second row into first column that is 1 into 1 1 minus 1 into minus 1 oops, sorry plus 1 that is minus 1 well next uh, second row into second column 1 plus 1 so i hope you know how to solve this uh, uh, particular uh, step how to go ahead with this particular step because it is very simple matrix multiplication dear students, dear students i tell you one thing in uh, you know quantum computation matrix and matrix multiplication is very important and i hope you all are familiar with the matrix you studied these things even in puc itself also so i don't think you find any difficulty here well let us go ahead that is equal to 1 by 2 into well first term becomes 2 second term becomes 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0 next is 0 next is 2 okay na ah, that is uh, h into h uh, that is equal to you take 2 inside this becomes 1 0 0 1 look at this one what actually this is sir it is identity matrix okay now h into h coming back to the problem h into h is i uh, now we have to operate h and h on ket 0 that means i on ket 0 i on ket 0 we have to do so i on ket 0 means 1 0 0 1 that is identity matrix into ket 0 is 1 0 this is nothing but matrix representation of ket 0 now simplify 1 into 1 1 0 into 0 0 first element is generated next 0 into 1 0 plus 1 into 0 0 second element is generated okay so what happens now this is equal to 1 and 0 that is nothing but ket 0 only therefore we can say when hadamard gate operates twice on my 0 i end up with 0 only this is what the original state is i hope you follow this problem well let us move on to the next question using two x gates in series show that two not gates in series are equivalent to quantum wire that means you have to take x twice that's all x is equal to what is x 0 1 1 0 okay again you take x that is 0 1 1 0 okay na so now you multiply x x into x finally you end up with identity matrix when you get identity matrix we call it as quantum wire 
So x into x that is equal to 0 1 1 0 into again 0 1 1 0 uh, sorry 1 0. Well now you keep on multiplying this you will end up with uh, identity matrix once again. So let me do it that is first row first column 0 plus 1 first row second column 0 plus 0 second row first column 0 plus 0 first row that is 1 into 1 1 plus 0 into 0 0 that is equal to what first element is 1 0 0 1 this is nothing but identity matrix this is called quantum wire <coughs> when two same x and x are multiplied okay you get a single line that is quantum wire and that is nothing but identity matrix in fact this is the property of Pauli's matrix also. Pauli's gate is the mention x, it's x and x, x square is equal to i and the Pauli's matrix are their uh, hadamar itself and the that means x is equal to x dagger and the kuda helidini. Just to recall it. Pauli matrix is properties. Okay, not only x, it is true even for y also and z also. There are three Pauli matrices. So here I have solved it for x. You can try for y also, you can try for z also. Okay, so I have given this in my study material. Please go through it. I hope you are following. Well, let us move on to the next one. Yeah, show that Hadamard gate is unitary. Already I did this problem. Just go back to first problem. So here I have done h into uh, yeah, okay, 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 not Hadamard. Uh, I there I showed it h into h as uh, identity. Here we have to show that h is unitary. <coughs> show that Hadamard gate is unitary. How to show that a vector is unitary, sorry, a matrix is unitary when it is multiplied with its uh, Hermitian and if the final answer is identity, then the matrix is unitary. That means H into H dagger, if it is equal to I, then we can say H is unitary this is the condition in fact in one of my previous slide that was in the previous video i might have done it but anyway i will do it once again okay first i write the matrix form of hadamard gate that is h by sir h is equal to 1 by root 2 into 1 1 1 minus 1 dear students you are supposed to remember the matrix form of each and every gate not only H gate, even for T gate, S gate, L and And all quantum gates are unitary. This is the property of uh, you know, uh, quantum gates. Why it should be unitary? Please check the video. Because uh, when gate operates on the quantum states, that normalization condition should be retained. Alpha square plus beta square must be equal to 1. So 1 barbe kondre, the matrix must be unitary only. Okay, H is here. Now let us take the complex conjugate of this. H star is equal to 1 by root 2 into, there is no complex number, I simply write 1, 1, 1 minus 1. Next I take the transpose of this, that is going to be the Hermitian, that is 1 by root 2 into 1, 1, 1 minus 1. Uh, row becomes column, column becomes row, but I generated the same thing. That means H dagger is equal to 1 by root 2 1 1 1 minus 1 okay ah, now i have h dagger let us take h into h dagger that is equal to 1 by root 2 into 1 1 1 minus 1 into again 1 by root 2 1 1 1 minus 1 so simplify this 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 becomes 1 by 2 now simplify 1 into 1 1 plus 1 into 1 1 first row first column next first row second column 1 minus 1 next second row first column 1 minus 1 second row second column 1 plus 1 this is what i did even in the previous numerical also that is 1 by 2 into 2 0 0 2 which finally becomes 1 0 0 1 that means h h dagger is equal to identity therefore h is unitary okay so h is unitary like this we can show that h is unitary well let us move on to the next question two qubits are passed through c naught gate 
if the first qubit is in control then what is the output for the following uh, initial states uh, number 1 0 0 number 2 0 1 number 3 1 1 dear students you can solve this by two ways number one by writing the circuit symbol circuit symbol this is the control this is the target okay control is uh, active only when it is in one state it is inactive in if it is in the zero state suppose if you take zero zero input zero zero input control will be zero target will be zero Output is also 0, 0. So finally, you end up with 0, 0 only because control is not ready to act on the target because it is in the 0, 0 state. This way you can solve or you can take the matrix forum that is C0 is equal to C0 is given by 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, sorry, 0, 1 and then 0, 0, 1, 0 and then multiply on 0 0 and other also so i will do this one this matrix forum circuit forum you try later on now i operate on c naught c naught operating on 0 0 state that is matrix forum 1 triple 0 0 1 double 0 triple 0 1 and 0 0 1 0 this is my c naught matrix and then uh, kit 0 0 state is given by this column vector ok simplify this if you simplify what will be the final answer so I leave it to you you do the matrix multiplication see 1 into 1 1 0 into 0 0 rest everything will be 0 similarly second element 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 third element also 0 fourth element also 0 ok so finally you will have only one and then remaining all three zeros that is nothing but ket 0 0 only that means when c naught operates on ket 0 0 output is ket 0 0 okay now you try the second one second one that is c naught operating on 0 1 state that is equal to uh, 1 triple 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 into 0 1 state is what 1 uh, sorry 0 1 0 0 so you multiply this and verify definitely you will get the answer as 0 1 0 0 that means now also the state is not affected okay so this is the second one so this is the first one first one second one now comes the third one third one c not operating on one one that means one triple zero zero one zero zero okay <coughs> oh sorry just one minute i just erase this part Okay, zero. One minute, just sorry, sorry for the interruption. I will uh, write it somewhere here. Okay, so well, now the condition number three, uh, sorry, problem number three. C not operating on one one that is equal to one zero 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 one zero 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 one next 0 0 1 0 and operating on my 1 1 state 1 1 state and the first three components are 0 last one is 1 now you simplify first row into first column that is 1 into 0 0 plus all zeros okay second row again it is 0 only second row is also 0 only third row okay third row will be 0 into 0 0 next 0 next 0 but last one is 1 and the last row will be again 0 0 0 0 i give you some time please try this and please check this whether multiplication is correct or not i hope you are able to do it is not a very complicated uh, problem well finally 0 
and then uh, uh, okay you just check this next is also 0 next is 1 next is 0 so what is actually this this is nothing but uh, ket 1 0 state this is nothing but uh, ket 1 0 so finally I get the answer as ket 1 0 right so this is equal to okay sorry okay anyway it is 0 1 0 0 1 0 is nothing but ket 1 0 you can make out so that is uh, ket 1 uh, ket 0 1 state now let us move on to the next problem uh, this is uh, ket uh, 1 0 uh, sorry ket 0 1 now next problem is show that s gate can be formed by connecting two t gates what is s gate what is t gate first of all t gate matrix forum you must know t gate matrix forum is 1 0 0 e to the power of i pi by 4 this is the t gate now you take two, two times t that is t into t that is 1 0 0 e to the power of i pi by 4 multiply again by 1 0 0 e to the power of i pi by 4 okay keep on simplifying this is equal to 1 into 1 1 plus 0 into 0 0 first element so this row and this column this way we are multiplying next uh, sec first row into second column 1 into 0 plus 0 into anything 0 so second element generated now the third component 0 into 1 and e to the power of i pi by 4 into 0 so that is also 0 that means second row first column now second row second column when i do i get 0 into e to the power of i pi by 4 into i pi by 4 that is 2 i pi by 4 okay follow this right so that is equal to 1 0 0 e to the power of i pi by 2 please check this dear students carefully because 2 1s are 2 2 are well what is e to the power of i pi by 2 this is euler's formula it is nothing but cos theta by 2 plus i sin theta by 2 do you know euler's equation i sin theta by 2 so e to the power of uh, cos theta by 2 is 0 plus i into sin theta by 2 is 1 so finally it is i so what i mean to say in this matrix i have 1 0 0 i what actually this is sir this is nothing but s gate so that means t square is equal to s show that s gate can be formed by connecting two gates so i formed s gate by connecting two t gates okay well that's all about the numericals from gates i have solved uh, almost all uh, numericals are almost all the gates okay please try to work out few more numericals by selecting the questions from reference books if possible i will give you few more questions for exercise purpose in my description box maybe in the subsequent videos dear students i will end this video but i will come back to you by with a few more videos on model question paper discussion and some students are asking for the uh, numericals on other modules also so i will uh, definitely do the numericals on other modules also maybe in another four to five days i will try to fulfill all your requirements okay be please stay with me like my video Video, share these videos with your friends and also please pass your comments in my comments and get uh, yes I am sure some of the students are finding it very difficult to uh, get the you know, network access so yeah I'm going to download more company okay thank you thank you very much